Hi, welcome! In this video I want to show you how to get sample data in your freshly installed Eras Innovator instance. And as you may have noticed when you have installed Innovator from the scratch and you go to parts or any else, anywhere else, you will see that you don't have anything inside your part list. For example here, we don't have anything here and, and of course in the beginning you just want to play around a little bit, you don't want to spend time to create a, some bill of materials by yourself. Um, Aras offers us at their homepage a couple of sample data, where it was? Here. Um, you know where yeah, sample data. So um, here you can see three files, installation guide, I assume it's a pretty easy con uh, process. Send the sample data overview, okay, what kind of data do we get? I assume a simple bomb and a couple of, yeah, bomb and parts, yes, part assembly. Ah, some documents, some change items, oh, so that's, that's a good one. ECR, ECN, okay, they follow the classical CM2 change management pattern. And project, okay, visual collaboration, that's all fine. And we also have our install file. Ah, it's interesting, it's an exe. In the past, you, you had to import the, the sample data manually with, with the import tool, so they somehow have um, improved this one. I already have downloaded this, um, yeah, this exe file, so let's run. Uh, I will not take a look at the installation guide, I want to be surprised. So prepare to install. Or maybe we should, just to be sure, probably tells me about the installer, installer, okay, license agreement, always read through the license agreement, of course, I have already, I have already read through it, complete, no, I always want to have custom, database and vault files. Ah, he adds us a new database. A set's more convenient than just throwing in sample data with um with the import tool. That's, that's that's a good improvement. And we also get vault files? Really? But I think this is not my vault. I think my vault has a different folder. C program errors innovator 12. Um my vault was I don't think I have a vault yet because I have not. This is a, such a new instance that I never have installed, uh, uh, uploaded any files yet. So, okay, let's. I'm not sure if this would be my my file vault location, but it's just for testing. Innovator server config XML location. Okay, at least this one I know. Here is my config location. Of course, when you have multiple. Eras Innovator instances installed in parallel. He 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 needs to know um, where to find the server config because the server config also contains the necessary information that probably this installer needs to connect to your databases uh, or to to your Innovator instance and to add the sample database. So this is my location, but how do I do? I have to click it here. Oh, maybe. What config location? I think it was here. What server? Okay. Connect to database server. Yes, my SQL Express. I log in with my current user. Connect. Okay. In a password. Okay. I've entered my passwords. So database templates. We have none. Database name is uh, um, the name of the new database that will be created. Okay, let's configure it. Yes, a new database will be configured. That's exactly what I want. And I assume when we now go to our server management studio and refresh the whole things and I should get a third one. Yes, that's... See, I like, really like this concept. It's better than the, the ones that they used a couple of years ago with, you know, you have to import data. So we really get a separated sample database just for testing purposes and yes this, is this way you can ensure is that you don't mix up things with your production database or your own test databases so let's wait a few minutes until this one has finished okay the new database was installed now let's continue click install to begin the installation okay let's do it 
copying new files. I'm really curious if I get some files in my file vault. See errors? Hmm. Do I get some files? Okay, so a new innovator database was added, was added to my innovator server configs. This one is okay. I'm happy that they have done it, so you don't have to do it. Since one is fine, so I should be able to log into my sample database. But I assume my file vault was not installed because my yeah my original I didn't have any file vault yet. But I'm really not sure. Okay, database itself seems to work. Okay, so let's take a look if we have a couple of parts. Okay, this one looks fine. We have some sample data. And I'm now curious if we also should have some files. Yes, we definitely should have. So I assume my default vault is missing. Um, let's test out something. When I now create a new part, oh, not a new part, but a document. Because a document is the simplest, simplest way to, to test out um, the upload of files. And now, for example, I just want to add my this SQL file, let's call it test. Let's see if we get our firewall location. Okay, so this file has been updated, uh, uploaded, and when I now go here, where do I have installed my vault? Ah, it's on the C drive. Ah, here is my sample. I'm so stupid. The sample data is here. I just looked at the wrong wrong um, location for the vault because in my case I'm always used that the vault is located at the D drive and not the C drive and so I assume the, the vault is, is part of the um, yeah part of the <laughs> code tree and not a separate folder okay so here's the vault so I think also our existing files that was updated with the sample database should, should exist files flag is here so this label should should be an existing file. Let's open it. Yeah, dangerous label. Allow. Come on, label, where are you? Ah, here it's, it worked. And this was, yes, okay, this sample database, you get some some parts, some documents, some bill of materials, and some files. This is pretty cool. And also some change management process stuff. So look through these files. You have seen pretty easy, um, pretty easy way to install. Nothing to be scared of. Really works fine. We really got a couple of nice data to work with. And yeah, this was it today for this video. Hope you learned something new and see you next time. Bye.